It's tech time, ladies. The future is digital, and I'm here to talk to you about digitizing your movie library, because it can be confusing if you've never done it. First, what is digital HD and what is it good for? Basically, it's a digital copy of a movie that gets stored on a cloud-based system and can be accessed anywhere by using certain apps. Sometimes when you buy a movie, it might say Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD. It's basically giving you three different ways to watch your movie. And to access the digital copy, you'll need a code. Inside the case, you'll most likely find a paper like this, with a long code on it. This code can be used once, so enter it right away and don't share. Some codes expire as well, so the best time to do it is right after you open the movie. Now let's get into the apps. There are three levels to this. 1. What machine do you use to watch your movies? A Blu-ray player, a Roku, an Apple TV, a PlayStation? Whatever you normally watch might decide what program you should use for the next step. 2. Pick your cloud-based digital library, Ultraviolet or iTunes. These are where you enter your codes and store your movies. iTunes will only work on Apple TV or through your iTunes library, and Ultraviolet will work on most everything else, but not on Apple TV. So unless you live a 100% Apple life, I recommend using Ultraviolet. It's free to use, you just have to create an online account. After creating my Ultraviolet account, I'm gonna enter my code for La La Land. Lastly, pick your app to access your digital library. If you choose iTunes and Apple TV, there's no need for this. Your library will just show up. If you choose Ultraviolet, then pick an app and link your account. There are lots of options, most are free, but we're going to use Vudu. Now that we're signed in, I can play any of my digital movie library on my Roku device. I just need Wi-Fi. So I've shown you Vudu, and I personally use Vudu because it's the only app that has this awesome feature. It allows you to digitize almost any film, even if it didn't come with a digital code. Open the Vudu app on your phone, also free. Scan the barcode of your favorite DVD or Blu-ray. Now, you'll have to pay for this, but it's more affordable a lot of times than just buying the digital copy of a film. It's $2 for Blu-rays and $5 for HD DVDs. So now, I have a digital copy of this older film I have that didn't come with a code. All right, so you know how, but why would you want to do this? Number one, backup in case a disc breaks or is scratched. Two, download and watch movies on trips or access your movies at a friend's house. Three, you lend a movie to a friend and they never return it. You can still watch it. Four, you lose your Blu-ray when moving or you just lose things. Five, this way, you'll literally own it forever, or until the internet breaks. Well, that's about it, and after doing this once, I swear you'll get the hang of it.